let's keep thinking about ridiculously huge numbers. We've gotten um, to the, these triple up arrows, the new th um, double up and triple up arrow notation, and you might be able to guess where we're going from this. What if we had, what would this mean? Three quadruple up three. And I'm purposely going to stay away from numbers like 10, even though it's easy to write a 10 instead of a 3, because 3 is going to be plenty to make this ginormous. And certainly we'll be, and then we'll go further. So what this means is simply repeat the triple up arrow notation, and then make sure you write three threes down. Well, is that big? I bet you it is. That's three triple up arrow. We're going to unpack this from the inside. Well, three triple, ar three triple up arrow three is a lot like this. That's three double up, three double up three. Now, that inner one, we actually have a chance of understanding in an ordinary way. It's not actually a huge, huge number. Three double up three is three to the three to the three. So it's really in terms of single up arrows. OK, well, three to the three is 27. OK, 3 to the 27. That's not a ridiculously huge number. But what are we doing with it? OK, I'm going to not even worry about the 3 triple up on the outside yet. But I'm going to take, OK, 3 double up means take 3 to the 3 to the 3 to the 3 to the dot, 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 to the 3. And how many times things are in that chain, it's um, 3 to the 27 things in that chain. Oh my god. 3 to the 27 uh, threes in the chain. So that is a big number. That's like you know getting up to um, bigger, definitely bigger than the numbers we were getting up to here. Definitely bigger than these things. It's getting up to this scale of course. But um, it's a huge huge number. So we've got 3 to the 3 to the 3 to the 3 and the number of threes we put is already a huge, huge number. Three to the 27 is about, uh, you know, in the t about a trillion, something like that. And then what do we do? We take three and we triple up that. Oh my god, what does that mean? It means repeated double up. Repeated double up. So three, and then three double up, and then three double up, and then three dot dot dot, until we get to three double up three at the end. And let's put in a dot, dot, dot. Uh, let's put in a triple, a double up there. OK. Wow. Well, this is just 3 to the 27 again. OK. So it's about a trillion. OK. But then we 3 double up that. And then we 3 double up that. And then we 3 double up that. And we 3 double up that. And the scary thing is not that we keep, whoops, is not that we keep double upping, which is creating immense towers of powers of three. That's scary in itself. But the scary thing is that inside those dot, dot, dots, how many times do we re repeat the double ups? We repeat it not three to the 27 times. We repeat it this many times. So that, so we repeat, oops, I actually was not in math mode. Repeat that many times. So this unbelievably huge number is how many times we repeat the double up operation. Not just the single up operation, but the double up operation. Wow, that's getting scary, scary, scary big. OK. So that's the quadruple up operation applied to two measly numbers, just three and three. But we can't, we don't have to stop there. Don't stop there. Because we're going to make this one. Eh, I said it was big. And eh, no, I meant puny. Sorry. Because we could then take three and we could take five up arrows. Well, let's start denoting that by up five, three. So that's three, one, two, three, four, five, three. And that's going to be three, one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, four, three. So this huge number, once we've got some sort of a handle on this, how unbelievably huge it is. OK, take that number and then do this quadruple up operation, which we only just did for a measly 3 and 3 here. Do that with the second number being the result of 3 quadruple up 3. Wow, that's going to be scary.
So again, you have to kind of stop and, and breathe for a little bit and just say, how um, unbelievably huge are these numbers? It's just, it's, it boggles the mind. And we really haven't done anything super complicated. We've just based it on exponentials and the idea of repetition and kind of nested repetition. It's really all about recursion. And I'll talk more about that later in a sort of more formal way. Well, we could then, you know, we could get up to um, this kind of thing. With this idea, we can have some prayer of having an explanation, maybe not a deep understanding or any kind of intuition for how big this number is. But we can write this number down now. A thousand, and then this is short for a thousand up arrows, a thousand. And of course, that's really code for you do a thousand, and then you do the 999 up arrow operation repeated. Uh, whoops, I forgot the 1000 there. Put 1000s in and keep doing that, dot, dot, dot. And you do that 1000 times. Oops, let me get out of math. Now. Wow, OK. That <coughs> dwarfs these guys incredibly. But we kind of cheated there. We used big numbers, a moderately big number here. OK. And we'd like to think about, well, do we have to do that? What if we just allowed ourselves only to use no, nothing higher than a 3, for example? OK. So, well, we couldn't even use this, actually, 3 up arrow 5. Hmm. But what we could do is we could do that recursion idea once again. We could do 3. Actually, why don't you think about it? How could I make something that dwarfs this guy? Just with, with a, a variant of this up arrow notation and the idea of recursion, kind of feedback. And this is the thing that got me so excited when I was a kid of the idea of, oh, wait, I can see how to do that again in a, and just sort of feedback and recurse again. So let's do three up arrow and put a little parentheses up here. Three up arrow, three, three, and then a three. Well, let's think about how big that is. Three triple up three. Yeah, it wasn't so huge. That was back. That was it basically at this level. This was 10 double up, 10 triple up 3. So it's a little bit smaller than this guy. Okay. But that's the number of arrows. And the number of arrows is going to be by far the most important thing in one of these expressions. That as long as this number of arrows is big, and as long as this number isn't 2, then, or 1, then this is going to be absolutely, absolutely huge. And we could do it again we could take that whatever the most sensitive element of our story is and we could just replace that with a three up arrow three again wow that's pretty cool but it's getting kind of hard to write it's getting kind of annoying to write and so that's the other thing the rules are supposed to be don't use big numbers make use all small numbers as your ingredients and can i actually come up with a notation that's going to systematize that a little bit to go one further and to de definitely get in need of something that we'd like to systematize, let's try this guy, but then iterate and just do dot, dot, dot. So instead of this three, again, replace that with a three. Oh, let's see. I can actually just do a copy and replace. That's a great thing about computers. OK, and then I can copy and replace this guy. And then I can do dot, 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 and I can keep going and going n times and then maybe I do that you know 20 times so that there's this chain so I calculate 3 up arrow 3 and then I put that in the up arrow slot for 3 that up arrow 3 and then I do this and then I put it into another up arrow slot and then another and then another and another and another until you get 20 times well again ooh, I violated my own rule I don't want to have that 20 there well, and okay, so I violated both rules here, is that I've got a moderately big number, something bigger than just a, a single digit number, and I've got this unwieldy expression with dot, dot, dots. Okay, so in the next video, I'll show you how Conway came up with something that can do this and much more. And then in the video after that, we'll make that look puny too.